three. All right, so tell me a little bit about the symptoms that you're having. Well, I spend a lot of time on computers every day, and, and by about halfway through the workday, my eyes are just tired and itchy and, you know, almost gritty, like they have sand in them. Right, right. And uh, every day. So that way they just, like, get, the longer I'm on the, the computer, the more itchy they get, and by the end of the day, sometimes I'm searching for something to put in my eyes, you know, probably put the wrong thing in my eyes. Right. Okay. So they feel a little sandy and gritty. Right. Do they ever burn? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, right. yeah. By the end of the day, they're burning. All right. And then if, if you blink more frequently, does that sometimes help alleviate some of the symptoms? Um, you know, I don't know. I've never, you know, nobody's ever told me to do that before, so I didn't know to do that. All right, let's you know, take a look. But, you know, I wear glasses most of the time, so, or pretty much all the time when I'm on a computer, so I don't know if that has any effect on it or not. But. All right, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little uh, special yellow dye in your eye. It's called fluorescein. And then we're going to take a look at your eye uh, and see exactly uh, what's going on. This sounds like some pretty common symptoms. Go ahead and look up. All right. Fluorescein. Yeah, that might burn a little bit. But let's take a look. Come on forward, bring your chin right down in there for me. Very good. And we're going to turn these lights down. And I want you to just look straight out here at my ear. Blink. Again, blink. Right. I want you to look up. All righty, and go ahead and sit back. All right, this this young gentleman has a pretty common uh, condition called keratoconjunctivitis sicca, or dry eye syndrome. And uh, what we're dealing with with dry eyes is a pretty classic presentation that he's exhibiting. Uh, where the patient comes in and tells us they have sandy, gritty, burny, teary, itchy eyes, sometimes a fluctuation in vision, uh, things of this nature, which is all related to dry eye conditions. Everybody gets it if we live long enough. Uh, especially if you're on a computer a lot, it's going to develop uh, a worse case of this dry eye. As you get older, any type of medications, any type of systemic disease, collagen vascular diseases, things like this can predispose you uh, to actually have an exasperated case of dry eye syndrome. So the question is, what do we do about it? Well, it's fairly simple. All right, we've got a variety of different treatments available. You can come over here and you can look at, at what we have here on the counter. Uh, a lot of different eye drops and, and oral medications and pills and nutraceuticals that can actually help combat against dry eyes. One thing is, is dry eye condition or keratoconjunctivitis sicca is one of the most underdiagnosed or wrongly diagnosed conditions out there. Oftentimes a patient will go into their primary care physician and they think they have pink eye and prescribe an antibiotic that might actually compound the problem. So our first line of defense is actually to use a good unpreserved artificial tear. I like one called Oasis Tears Plus. All right, it comes in individual little vials. Uh, you actually have a little vial, you twist the cap off, put a drop in your eye uh, a few times during the day and kind of that's needed. The good thing about Oasis Tears Plus is it has hyaluronic acid in it which is a, a, nor a natural anti-inflammatory so essentially no side effects. Uh, the Oasis Tears Plus actually uh, binds to the epithelium it lasts quite a bit longer than the typical drops you can buy over the counter. So Here's some samples of the Oasis Tears Plus. I want you to go ahead and try those uh, throughout the day and see if you get some symptomatic relief with that. Uh, there's a lot of other prescriptions that can be used by your eye care provider. Uh, there's a prescription medication called Restasis. Uh, there are steroids that can be utilized. Things like Omnipred and Predforte uh, that can help with dry eyes. A lot of different types of lubricants you can buy over the counter, Sustain and Soothe, uh, that all work pretty well. Uh, but my favorite, like I said, is the Oasis Tears Plus. So using a good lubricant is, is crucial, very, very important. But now, the should, should I put this in after I start burning or before or as a preventative or what? Good question. First thing in the morning usually, right yeah. when you wake up in the morning. Your eyes are very dry uh, at nighttime. You're not blinking, so you're not spreading uniformly an even tear film over your eyes when you're uh, sleeping. So first thing in the morning when you wake up, put a drop in your eye, okay? okay than any time during the day that you have the symptoms. Right before you get on the computer, maybe put some in. Right before driving at night, you can put a drop in. Uh, and that will help. So you can use it two, three, four times a day. It's not going to hurt you. It's totally safe. 
Um, but here's the kicker. A lot of doctors, physicians, ophthalmologists, optometrists do not realize the power of proper nutrition. Because now we know that if we adjust your diet, okay, if we adjust your diet and go to a less inflammatory type of diet, a diet that isn't pro-inflammatory, the typical American diet is pro-inflammatory. We're eating foods that are fast foods, uh, foods that are filled with preservatives and nitrites and, and just overly processed, and they're very high in omega-6. Omega-6 creates inflammation in the body. So what we want to do is adjust your diet, believe it or not. Go toward more omega-3. Start eating cold water fish. Wild Alaskan salmon, very important. You can get it fresh, frozen, or even canned. You want to make sure it's in a BPA-free can, though. Bisphenols are in cans which actually leach poisons into the uh, salmon. So you want to make sure that it's uh, a BPA-free can. And there's some companies out there. Wild Planet makes a good BPA-free uh, wild Alaskan salmon. Stay away from farm-raised salmon. Farm-raised salmon actually have orange dye and their ratio of omega-6 is higher than the ratio of omega-3. So it is not something you want to consume. It's got to be wild Alaskan salmon. So more fish, mm -hmm. sardines, okay, anchovies. These are all very good. So the gist of this story is trying to consume more omega-3. Well, we've got a product called Fortify Super Omega that I actually developed, okay. This is an omega-3 supplement that you can take because, let's face it, all of us are not going to be consuming a lot of fish on a daily basis, okay? Right. So on the days that you're not eating your wild Alaskan salmon and your sardines, you can take a couple of these Fortify Super Omegas. This will help with your dry eye symptomology. Mm -hmm. Not instant, all right? It's going to take a while. It's going to take a couple of months to really kick in. Mm -hmm. But studies have shown that when you take a good triglyceride form omega-3 fish oil, it can actually help open up the glands that secrete the outer lipid layer of your tear film. This is called the meibomian glands. And those are somewhat compromised. And I saw that with a slit lamp evaluation in your eye. If I was to push on your lower lids, we'd see a thick cottage cheese coming out of your glands, and it should be a clear olive oil appearance. So simply by using uh, an omega-3, taking two a day is going to be beneficial. Now, a lot of people will say, well, Doc, I can go to Walmart, Sam's, Costco, and I can buy a big jug of omega-3 fish oil for $9. That'll last me a year. Remember, you get what you pay for. So this is a triglyceride form. You will not have any aftertaste. You don't burp up a, na a, a nasty, rancid fish taste. Most of the ethyl ester fish oil is what you buy over the counter. It's an ethyl ester molecule. It can be rancid before you even get it. Uh, so you don't want to put rancid fish oil into your body. Yeah, I've taken fish oil before, and it, it, like you see, you get this nasty fish burp back. It's right? terrible. We don't, that's we don't because that. of the type of fish oil it is. That's the type of the fish oil, yeah. right. And we're involved in some bioavailability studies right now where we're actually uh, drawing blood and looking at the omega index. And we're finding that when you take two fortified super omegas a day, your omega index will go over 8%. That doesn't mean a lot to you. Uh, but an omega index over 8% has actually correlates with a 90% risk reduction in a fatal heart attack. That's powerful. So if you can take a supplement that may decrease the chance of you having a heart attack, that's a good thing. Uh, we've tested just about every over-the-counter preparation of omega-3 fish oil, and none of them are moving that omega index anywhere near the amount as the Fortify Super Omega. Uh, so ask your eye care provider about Fortify Super Omega for your dry eyes. Uh, you can call a toll-free number and order it, 1-866-503-9746. That's 1-866-503-9746. Or go to the website, fortify.com, F-O-R-T-I-F-E-Y-E.com. Uh, many optometrists and ophthalmologists, primary care physicians, cardiologists, rheumatologists are actually recommending to this their patient and can be purchased through a lot of healthcare practitioners' practices. It's about $20 to $25 a bottle. So think about that. Adding additional omega-3 to your diet. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we can use a drop called Oasis Tears Plus. Mm -hmm. We can add uh, Fortify Super Omega. I would just start out two a day. Sometimes we have to go up to four a day for mm -hmm. some really uh, resistant cases of dry eyes. Mm -hmm. Remember to blink a little bit more frequently. Blinking is very important. We're blink reflex depressed when we're working on the computer, when we're driving, when we're watching television, we're not blinking as much as we should. So remember to blink a little bit more frequently. This was spread an even tear film over your cornea, helping to 
uh, eliminate some of this dry eye symptomology that you're having. Good. And believe it or not, sleep is important. Do you get enough sleep? Yeah, I'm pretty good about that, yeah. Good. Seven, eight hours a night. Good, good, because a lot of us are sleep deprived, and if you're sleep deprived, it creates an inflammatory response in your body. Inflammation actually is one of the root causes of dry eyes, so we got to try to get enough sleep during the evening. So sleep is very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, so once again, dry eye syndrome or keratoconjunctivitis sicca is relatively common, but we can help your symptoms dramatically from the, the simple means I just discussed. Mm -hmm. But also, most of us, not only are sleep deprived, but we are also dehydrated. How many glasses of water do you drink a day? Not enough. Honestly, not enough. My doctor's on, he's on me all the time about that. Um, maybe just like a bottle of water a day, maybe two bottles maximum. Okay. And my doctor's all, always telling me I need to be drinking like six right. bottles of water a day. Well, we need to drink half your body weight in ounces of water. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you need to drink 100 ounces of water. But water, you have to get spring water or water that's uh, been filtered through your faucet, reverse osmosis I like, or I like bottled water that's in glass bottles the best. Voss water, Saratoga spring water. The good thing about these, especially Saratoga spring water, it's got a relatively high pH. A high pH is really good for your system, uh, but it keeps you from being dehydrated. But the main thing is it comes in a glass bottle. Remember, plastic bottles have BPA or bisphenols. Bisphenols become endocrine disruptors. Endocrine disruption can make a dry eye that much worse. So don't drink water out of plastic bottles. Mm -hmm. Especially a number seven on the bottom of that plastic bottle. That's a polycarbonate bottle that leaches bisphenols any time of the day. Really? But even number one uh, bottles, which are on the bottle of most plastic bottles, uh, if they're heated, if they're cooled off too much, can leach bisphenols as well. Really? So the best thing is to put a filtering system on your tap water or drink a bottled water out of a glass container. All right. All right. So now we can adjust your diet. Uh, we can consume more omega threes. Take a good omega three fish oil. Use a good un unpreserved artificial lubricant. Drink plenty of water. Get plenty of sleep. All of these things will help against dry eyes. If you're still having problems, and from a nutritional standpoint, what can you do? Well, there's another product that we've developed called Fortify Focus. All right. Fortify Focus has six milligrams of astaxanthin in this product. Astaxanthin, remember I talked about inflammation as being one of the root causes of, of dry eye syndrome. Well, uh, astaxanthin has been shown to actually lower C-reactive protein, tumor necrosis pack factor, uh, arachidonic acid. These are all inflammatory markers in the blood. So simply by adding astaxanthin, which gives wild Alaskan salmon its orange color, once again, if you're not eating a lot of wild Alaskan salmon, you can combine the Fortify Focus or six milligrams of astaxanthin from any supplemental source to your omega-3, the Fortify Super Omega. This is kind of the double whammy. The double whammy will help with dry eyes. The good thing about Fortify Focus is it also improves focusing ability. It's a potent antioxidant. Helps keep you from getting sunburn when you're out in the sun. If you're uh, an athlete, it helps uh, improve muscle endurance and muscle recovery. So Fortify Focus is something that uh, is beneficial. We're going to see it being utilized a lot more in eye care practices, uh, practices in the very near future. Lastly, let's say you've tried everything and you still have a little bit of dry eye. There's one other nutrient you can add, and we don't have it here, but gamma linoleic acid. Gamma linoleic acid is uh, an omega-6, but it's the good portion of the omega-6s. GLA comes from black currant seed oil, evening primrose oil, spirulina, uh, borage oil. I like it from black currant seed oil. And you want to take about 100 milligrams per thousand milligrams of fish oil. That ratio helps maximize the anti-inflammatory benefits. So once again, triglyceride form omega-3 fish oil, a little astaxanthin, and a little GLA uh, can really help from a nutri nutritional standpoint, uh, helping to promote overall wellness in the corneal. Uh, and help the corneal integrity, help reducing dry eye symptomology. Uh, and obviously, you need to see your eye care provider, your optometrist, your ophthalmologist routinely for this condition. There are other things that we can do now. Um, if we still have a dry eye, we can uh, take a little plug and insert it into the drainage duct. 
This is called punctal occlusion. Mm -hmm. So um, if we've tried all these approaches and things are getting a little bit better but just not perfect yet, we'll have you come in, uh, a little local anesthesia, and we'll put a little insert in there. It's a little plug that drops, blocks the drainage duct in your eye. And what this does, it's kind of synonymous with putting a stopper in the bathtub. You put a stopper in the bathtub, the water stays in the tub. Mm -hmm. We put a stopper in your drainage duct called your punctum, then the tears that are already somewhat deficient will bathe your cornea every time you blink. Wow. So this is something that is covered by your insurance usually, uh, relatively simple. It takes about 30 seconds to put in and oftentimes can help uh, dry eyes dramatically. But this is our last choice. We don't want to do this until we've tried other things uh, first. So uh, this is another option. So, you see, there's a lot of different options available for dry eye. You just got to find the right doctor that's willing to take the time and has the knowledge to help you. Great. Well, I appreciate it. All right. All right. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Lang. Hope you enjoyed this segment on dry eye syndrome. Uh, we're out of here. Have a great day.